dear students under the topic lagrange's partial differential equations we are solving problems using the method of multipliers now here we have a very significant problem in the examination point of view the question is solve m z minus n y multiplied with p plus n x minus l z multiplied with q is equal to l y minus m x now here we understand that this is of lagrange's type so we compare with the standard form of the lagrange's type the standard form of the lagrange's type is given by capital p small p plus capital q small q is equal to capital r so on comparing we find that capital p is equal to m z minus n y capital q is equal to n x minus l z and capital r is equal to l y minus m x so let us take and write that so after writing the values of p q and r we have to write the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation for the lagrange's type of equation is given by dx by capital p is equal to dy by capital q is equal to dz by capital r now we shall substitute the values of p q and r in this auxiliary equation so what we get is so these are the auxiliary equations we shall now mark this as 1 2 and 3 and by the method of multipliers we have to form a fourth ratio which is given by ldx plus mdy plus ndz that is we are using multipliers l m and n and we are multiplying with each of the ratio and adding the numerator separately and the denominator separately we find a fourth new ratio so here if you see in the question itself already you have the alphabets l m and n for that reason we are going to use the multipliers as a b and c in order to avoid the confusion so listen carefully students in our previous problems we used the alphabets l m n in order to represent the multipliers but since in this problem we have Uh, the alphabets l m n as constants in this uh, given particular problem we are going to uh, represent the multipliers by a b and c so how will the fourth equation be formed we have to multiply a with dx the first multiplier plus we have to multiply dy with b so another multiplier so dy plus c d z now we have to multiply a with the first uh, denominator of the first ratio so a multiplied with m z minus n y plus b multiplied with the denominator of the second ratio so b multiplied with n x minus l z and at last we have to multiply c with the last uh, ratio denominator of the last ratio that is l y minus m x so this is the fourth ratio that we have formed now we have to find the two set of multipliers in order to find the two solutions u and v so let us first find the first set of multipliers so in order to find the first set of multipliers first we will take the denominator of the ratio 4 and we will write here so we have taken and written the re, uh, the denominator of the last ratio that is ratio 4 So now in this we have to choose the multipliers a b and c in such a way that we should make this denominator zero so what are the multipliers that we will make uh, the first choice as so i am going to choose the multipliers as if i am going to choose a to be equal to l b to be equal to m and c to be equal to n and i am going to check whether this denominator can be made zero or not why i am choosing l m n because if i see here we have m and n if i multiply l with this i may get three terms with l m and z l n and y similarly here if i multiply here if you see l and uh, n are there so i can multiply with m so here you have l and m and the left out alphabet is n so if i multiply with n there may be a chance that this denominator be may become zero so uh, this uh, cho choosing the set of multipliers will i mean uh, can be done only by practice so uh, if you practice more problems so when I, when you see the problem you will be able to identify what can be your set of multipliers 
So let us now substitute and check out in this. So what will happen to 4 over here? So when you uh, choose A, B, C as L, M, N, then the denominator of 4 will be, uh, if you substitute uh, A as L, so what you will have L into M, M, Z minus N, Y plus B as M, M into N, X minus L, Z and then plus C, instead of C you have to write N, so N into L, Y minus M, X. So this will be equal to, so when you multiply this L within the bracket, you have L, M, Z minus L, N, Y plus m n x minus m l z plus n l y minus n m x so this is what we obtain so now we will check are we able to cancel the terms here you have plus l m z here you have minus L, M, Z. So both are same. So we can cancel it. And uh, this is plus and this is minus. And uh, L, N, Y with a negative sign. So L, N, Y with a positive sign. So these two can be cancelled. M, N, X, M, N, X. So minus. So this is plus. It can be cancelled. And so this is 0. Let us mark this as 1 as we will be making use of it uh, in the in while further proceeding the problem. So let us mark this as 1. Now we have found the first set of multipliers which is A equal to L, B equal to M and C equal to N. So therefore the first set of multipliers A, B, C has to be chosen as L, M, N. So these are the first set of multipliers. In a similar way let us find the second set of multipliers. Now in order to find the second set of multipliers I have taken and written the denominator of the fourth ratio. Now I should find apt values for a, b, c uh, so that this becomes 0 and it should be different from l, m and n. So I am going to put a to be equal to x, b to be equal to y and c to be equal to z. So let me check whether this set of multipliers makes the denominator 0 or not. So for that reason, we have to substitute in the denominator of the ratio 4. At the place of A, you have to put X. So let me put X over here. So X multiplied with M is Z minus N Y plus uh, B. So B is what? Y multiplied with N X minus L is Z plus C. C is Z. So Z multiplied with L Y minus M X. Now let me multiply x with each of the terms inside here so it becomes x m z then this minus x n y and then plus y has to be multiplied within the bracket so y n x minus y multiplied with l z and then this plus z multiplied with l y minus z multiplied with mx. Now let me check whether I am able to cancel the terms. So here I have plus x m z and here also x m z is there with a negative sign. So these two can be cancelled x n y and here x n y this is negative this is positive and so this can be cancelled minus y l z plus y l z. So even this can be cancelled and so it becomes 0. So let me mark this as 2 as we will be making use of it while further proceeding the problem. So this is 2. Now therefore the second set of multipliers I um, mean A, B, C that we have chosen is what is, what is that? X, Y and Z. So X, Y and Z. So therefore we have decided the two set of multipliers that we have to use for the problem. The first set is L, M, N and the second set is X, Y, Z. Now we shall proceed further to find the solution U and V. Now in order to find the solutions U and V and thereby we will be finding the general solution phi of U, V equal to 0. For that first we shall take the fourth ratio and let us write it. So I have taken and written the fourth ratio. Now first we will use the first set of multipliers that we have found.
So we know that the first set of multipliers is what? L, M and N. So if we use it, what happens to the fourth ratio in the numerator at the place of A, B and C? Let us replace it by L, M and N. So the numerator will be L, D, X plus M, D, Y plus N, D, Z divided by the denominator. If you use L at the place of A, M at the place of B and N at the place of C, from 1 we observe that it will become 0. It is from 1. Already we have shown it. So that we shall write. That is here. We substituted these multipliers and we found that the denominator was 0. So using that I have taken this as 0. So if the denominator is 0 then we can by the method of multipliers we can say that LDX plus MDY plus NDZ is also equal to 0. Now integrating on both the sides what do we get? This is L is a constant integral of DX we have to do which is X plus M is a constant integral of DY is Y plus n is a constant and integral of d is z is z is equal to a constant c1. So this will give us the first solution u. So therefore the first solution u is equals to lx plus my plus n is z is the first solution u. In a similar way we have to find the second solution by using the uh, second set of multipliers that we have obtained. So, the second set of multipliers that we obtained is x, y, z. And so, what will happen to the ratio 4? At the place of A, we have to substitute x. At the place of B, y. And at the place of C, we have to put z. Similarly, in the denominator also. So, when we do so, the numerator will be x, dx plus y, dy plus z, dz. D, uh, yeah, z. Divided by. The denominator is 0. This is from 2 that we already obtained. So, if you see, here we have that. If we got it to be 0. When we chose the multipliers x, y, z, the denominator was 0. This we already saw. So, by using that, here we write this. So, by the method of multipliers, the numerator will be equal to 0. So, x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0. Now integrating on both the sides. What is the integration for x? It is x squared by 2 plus the integration for y is y squared by 2 plus the integration for z is z squared by 2 is equal to another constant c2. Now taking LCM on the left hand side you will be having x square plus y square plus z squared is equal to taking this 2 to the right you will be having 2c2 which is anyway going to be another constant so in general I am writing it as c2 itself so this is the second solution therefore the second solution v is equal to x square plus y square plus z square hence we have obtained the two solutions u and v so u was lx plus my plus nz and v is x square plus y square plus z square. Therefore the general solution. So the general solution will be phi of u comma v is equal to 0. And hence so phi of what is u lx plus my plus nz. And what is v? x square plus y square plus z squared is equal to 0. So this is the general solution. This can be equated to c also and on constant. As per the our textbook it is equal to it is given as 0. So I am taking it as 0. In few textbooks they take it as a constant c. So phi of u comma v is equal to 0 is the general solution. So hope you have understood this problem. This problem is a very significant problem in the examination point of view and it has appeared in various question papers also. So kindly go through this problem step by step very carefully. Thank you.